In the previous video, we saw that the draw rectangle and ellipse creation tools can be used to generate conventional paths with points that can be modified both in terms of their position and tangent. Just below this tool, there's a Create Procedural Shape button that can be used to create shapes using procedural generators. Clicking on this button and holding down the left mouse button will display several available generators. If we use the rectangle tool, we can create a shape again that's a little different from the one we created before. Control points aren't visible and the path overlay isn't shown either. If we access the shapes generator, we can see that the path group contains an element named rectangle, which is actually a generator. We can tell that it's a generator because it's possible to go into its parameters or replace it with another generator. While keeping this shape's location, we can replace it with a polygon, an ellipse, or a star without changing its position. Its transform parameter will remain unchanged. Let's set it back to the rectangle generator and navigate to access its parameters. Remember that the Properties panel has a navigation bar at the top that lets you go in and out of generator parameter menus. Before going over the different generators and their various parameters, keep in mind that they simply create paths in the same way as we did previously. They don't actually draw these shapes as that's done by the set styles. If we add a fill generator, we'll see that the generator will define paths and the styles will draw them. Remember that since the list represents actions executed one after the other, we can reorder the different styles to make the stroke pass over the fill or the fill over the stroke. Let's delete this layer. Here you can see that we can use generators directly by specifying styles. In just one step, we can define a path group that contains a rectangle generator drawn by a fill and a stroke. Remember to separate these two concepts. If, for example, we remove the fill and stroke, the rectangle generator will define paths, but there won't be any styles to draw them. The vector shape exists, but it doesn't appear on screen. We can also see that overlays, which were visible in manually drawn shapes, aren't visible here. It's possible to add one or more styles to this hierarchy at any time. Just bear in mind that these actions are always read from top to bottom. In this video, we went over how to create paths with generators, navigate the Properties panel, and replace one generator with another.